Next one, we will go on with floor maps. See, in floor maps, to make a house, a floor map is necessary. What is a floor map? See here, window. This is also a window. Window. This is what you call it as floor map. This is door. This is window. Here also window. So this you call it as a floor map. This is a floor map of a house. See this house has got one window. One window and one door in the front. One window and one door in the front. And two windows at the back. Is it clear now? One window in the front and one door in the what do you call front. And two windows at the back. And one window on the left and the other window on the right side of the house. This is the floor map. Is it clear now? One window and door in the front. Two windows at the back. One window on the left side. One window on the right side. Now, the view of the house after you draw it. This is the view of the house. Like one window. I told you one window, one door. And one. this is one window at the right, left hand side. One window on the left. But this is actually the view of the house. Is it clear now? See, a special way of drawing the house which is deep to show the length, width and height is called a deep drawing. Now, what do you mean by deep drawing is, what is a deep drawing? What is deep drawing means? The special way of drawing. It is a special way of drawing. It is a special way of drawing the house. Drawing the house. Drawing the house which is deep, which is deep to show the length, to show the length, the length, the width, the length, the width and the height of the and the height is called and the height of the house is called as the deep drawing. So I will repeat what is deep drawing special way of drawing the house which is deep to show the length the length and the breadth and the width of the house this is what you call it as a deep drawing next one is 3d shapes from 2d shapes see you have square Then you have a cube, you have a cube, next one you have a rectangle. You have a rectangle, then you have a cuboid. So, now what is it is, there are some of the two dimensional shapes. Now what is it given is, you have to draw the cube. See now, drawing the cube, drawing the cube, drawing a cube through squares. Now how will you draw a cube through squares? This is what we are going to do it now. See the first one, what is the first one? Draw a square on the paper. First one, draw a square on the paper. So this is the first step. First step. So first one, what is it? Draw a square on the sheet of paper. Now what is the second step you have to do? What is the second step given in your book? Draw another square as shown. Now what you have to do? One square already you have drawn. Now one more square you have to draw. 
Is that clear? Now, next one, third one, what is the third step? Draw dotted line joining the corresponding corners. So you have to join the dotted lines. Now next one is, now what you have to do is, the next one, with this dotted lines, you have to draw a perfect, what do you have to draw? A perfect square or a perfect cube. Is it clear now? So what is the first one? You just draw a square, next dot, two squares like this and third one you just have a dotted lines and fourth one with this you have to join these dotted lines and make a perfect line over the other. So this is how you can draw a cube through the squares. Now next one using the same procedure you can draw a cuboid with the help of this rectangle. Now I told you drawing the cube through squares now next one, using this rectangle, you can make cuboid. Next one is, perspective view is a view of a three dimensional object on a 2D surface. Now you are going to draw the perspective view. Now what is the first step is, what is the first step? Take a sheet of paper, draw the front view of the metal plate. You have to draw the Friend view of the plate. This is the metal plate. Now what you have to do is you have to mark a point here and above. You have to mark a point above. Now what is the second step? You join the three corners. One, two corner and the third corner. Three corners. So that is your second one. Now the third step is draw a line across and extend it down as given in the diagram. Now this is the third step. Now fourth step erase the lines outside the new lines drawn. Now what you have to do you have to erase this. You have to erase it that is you have to rub it. Now, that is a step. So, this is one of the perspective view of the metal plate. This is one of the perspective view of the metal plate. Now, next one, a group activity is given. You can take different points outside the metal plate. Corresponding to each point, you will get different views of the three dimensional object. Now, I have done with the 2D surface. Now, what you can do is, with any point you can have and then you can you will get different views of the three dimensional object yeah.